a massive headache for those trying to make their flights this morning, Val and Tanya. We watched as dozens of people opted to get out of their cars on I-90 and walk with their suitcases to the terminal in order to make their flights. Take a look at some of this video I shot of people making that track as cars were essentially parked on the Kennedy traffic at a complete standstill right in the middle of rush hour at one of the busiest airports in the country. It was kind of wild to watch. Miles long backup for people heading into O'Hare. Now all of this was caused by protesters who were seen sitting in the middle of the road right there on the expressway linking arms and blocking traffic. They were heard chanting free Palestine. Protesters were blocking the outbound lanes of the Kennedy between Bessie Colon Drive and O'Hare. Illinois State Police and Chicago Police were assisting with traffic control as passengers quickly realized cars weren't moving and decided to grab their suitcases and walk to the airport. What it's like to do this right now? Terrible, terrible. Yeah, you're, are you just walking to the airport now? I'm gonna try. What this is like that you're having to walk right now with your child? Oh, I'm gonna be honest, Don't this have is. Time. Yeah, this yeah. is the last thing we wanna be doing. Ask you what it's like to do this right now? It's crazy, it's Monday. I, I can't believe I have to do this. Are you gonna try to make your flight? I am. You're just gonna walk there? I am. I'm here early enough, so I think I can make it. What do you think of this? Um, I understand that people have the freedom to do whatever they want, but when it starts impacting me personally, it's kind of an issue, so. Now in this video we captured, you can see several people were taken into custody by police. It appears they were handcuffed and seen leaning on the guardrails there. Now, while all of this was going on, a United Airlines spokesperson tells us a flight from Chicago to Washington, quote, returned safely to Chicago after a non-credible th threat was found written on a lavatory mirror. Video from Chopper 7 shows law enforcement near the aircraft. They conducted a security sweep, officials say, and United was rearranging for a different aircraft to take passengers back to their destination. Now, at this hour, state police have opened the road back up to traffic, but you can certainly expect some residual delays to still be there if you are heading out to O'Hare this morning. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.